Hello, Lilas. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Oh, MG. oh, okay, I thought I left her clothes. Anyway, I have baby Abby here. She is the prototype Abby by Claire Teller, and she was painted by me. She, um, the information for the pre-orders will come soon, and I know I've been saying that, but, you know, as soon as, um, I get the information I will definitely share. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Um, I have made a video for the Chatterbox, so if you guys are not in the Chatterbox, please make sure you go ahead and join the Chatterbox. Um, it is my channel membership. It is a paid membership. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join. It is $1.99 to join. It is for exclusive content, exclusive live streams where um, girls can be girls. And guys too. Uncles are welcome as well um, to join. Um, I like to have a full panel sometime. That's something new that I want to try to do more often where we could just all sit on the live stream and just really chat about, you know, our dolls and things that we like and, you know, even some of the things we may not like and hope that we could change or whatever the case may be. But anyway, um, I'm going to get her dressed. I do want to give a update um, to everybody, to my Lola's. Um, thank you everybody who participated in the Reborn giveaway. Um, that baby has not been completed. It has not went out. I have made contact with the winner, which is My Bella Blessings, um, which does have a YouTube channel. Um, it was so, um, I, I did it the fairest way, way possible. I pulled from each category, brand new member, um, medium term me member, and then long term members. And Look how ironic it was. She had just literally joined the uh, Chatter membership. So, um, the Chatterbox <laughs> membership. So, um, it worked out. I don't like to do rig giveaways. So, I, you know, I just wanted to, you know, promote the Chatterbox. Um, you know, I have my mixed emotions sometime. I feel like, okay, maybe I shouldn't do the Chatterbox. Maybe I should just do gym pop but no I like that I like that spot and I, I think a lot of my members that's been there with me for a while they like the spot too um so I'm gonna keep keep it going as long as I can and I'm gonna keep promoting it as well um and also guys um thank you also to everyone who's actually been buying my merch um you'll see that merch down there like all these different things I know a lot of people are like oh she's just out to make money you're right um, I do like to make money, but I do it because I love it because I did this for I'm on my eighth year of being a YouTuber and I did it for a long time and I didn't do it, you know, get income or anything off of it. But yeah, I do, you know, get a couple, couple of dollars <laughs> on, um, on it. And so, um, she does come with guys. She does come with a. A tummy plate I don't always use it it does not prevent her from not being cuddly I just you know I just don't usually use it you know so um as as much I hadn't been using it but she could actually keep it on and not be a problem um because of it's not a, like a full tummy plate sometimes the full tummy plates get in the way of the, the cuddliness or whatever um, so yeah, so I love, <laughs> I just love her big brown eyes and she's just such a happy baby. Um, so yeah, so, so once the giveaway baby is completed, I will share with you guys. Um, I will be sharing pictures soon of my Finn. He is, uh, like 98%. <laughs> ready to go home to his mommy he's his hair has been rooted and everything i'm just gonna do final touch-ups on him and um then i'm gonna take pictures his mommy has seen a little snapshot of him with his hair of his hair rooted but i'm gonna take pictures for the mommy and also for you guys and um maybe even a video before he travel home but um like i was saying in the child box video um the short version of everything is that i you know, of course, work full time. I'm also a full time mom. And so, you know, my schedule is always a little busy and trying to try to make sure I, you know, get everything done 
and sometimes my timing is off like I think I'm going to be able to get you know everything done and then something comes up or you know something happened and I think that happens with a lot of uh, people that paint and root and all that jazz but I personally I'm trying to make sure I don't get in the camera guys um I personally let me see how far uh, yeah I'm trying to see what you guys can see but anyway um yeah so I've really enjoyed um working on him and you know it's funny although I was like man come on I want to finish his rooting I just really wanted to see what he looked like I did not hate the process so much it's just me look, look at this it's just me trying to sit still <laughs> is always the challenge I, I I promise they probably should have diagnosed me with no nah, I'm too lazy for that I can't like I ain't gonna even say I got that but I do feel like ever since I got into making the babies that I just don't um I can't sit still um yeah so anyway I really really love this little girl the one thing I I think I have not said enough is how much I love the 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 legs on this this sculpt I really really love the legs this the 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 shape and the legs are just, I mean, really, honestly, I could show you guys a picture of me as a newborn, and these legs look like my legs. I'm, I'm so serious. Um, she, I love the limbs on this baby. These, these, they are so, and so, you know, I, I have my, I still have my uh, silicone Alex that I have blank here that I gotta paint. I'm trying to show her show off her little tummy plate. See this is what the tummy plate for. It's for when we take little pictures and we do little stuff like that to to show them. But yeah, so that's that. I mean how great is that for me to have this little cutie. She is like so super adorable but I can't unsee um she just looked like so many people to me and it's it's just crazy because um, I think she has my little sister at Zach knows, um, uh, Michelle, she's, uh, how old is Michelle now? I think she's 12. She's 12 or did she hit the 13? Oh gosh, that's, that's sad. But anyway, she's somewhere around that age now, but I, I have to ask my mom for her baby picture to, um, to show, oh my gosh, like maybe that's what my mom like really loved her and I think she doesn't realize but that's also, no, I think she did say that. She did say that she looked like, she actually said she looks like her. She looks like, uh, yeah, she, I think she did say it. But anyway, nevertheless, and I know I'm always doing the arms up, but I think babies always kind of have their arms up. I love the hands too. They're very dainty and stuff like that. So overall, I really, really love this kit. Um, one thing I, I mentioned about is like doing prototypes and how I feel about doing prototypes. And since I've done them, I am so grateful for the opportunities that I've had. I, I do have a newfound respect for the artists that do do them regularly. It is like, you know, kind of a little bit of pressure. Like you're, you're, you, you want to do it good. It's like you, you have to do it good, you know? Um, and I think that they have to try to make sure they represent the kit well and point out the, the good parts of, of the kit. For me, I feel like it's even more of a struggle, but luckily I've had kits that I genuinely like. Um, I think if I had to do a prototype on a kit that I was not fond of, you guys would know. And I don't know that that would be a benefit to the sculptor. So. With that being said, I don't know how many prototype opportunities that I will accept or I will do or even, you know, like I'm not one of the ones that go chasing a lot. Like, you know, um, I don't know, like I, I won't say never, like, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, enter this contest to win a prototype opportunity. And I, I think if it's one that I'm just dying to paint, I will, I will be like, okay, look, I, I'm going to, I want to paint this one so bad, you know, I will, I might do it, but otherwise I just, um, you know, I don't know, but, um, anyway, 
that's that's that but i i think that um the prototype artists do have a lot of pressure and you know um a lot to do um as far as doing prototypes and stuff so you know kudos to them um and again i am so excited i was telling like i said in the chat about i'm just trying to make this a shorter version of the video um i am so excited to be very close to finishing up my customs i'm hoping within three weeks i will be done um and then um i can move on to the other things but also i'm excited about these new kits that are out um that are coming out i'm trying not to do so many pre-orders but good lord so Natalie Blake, of course, comes out with Benjamin. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Um, and then um, I'm waiting on Jude by Oga R. Um, I did get my Delias. Um, I, I, like I told them, I think I love the oak more than I did the vinyl, but I do like, I still like them. Um, I don't know if I'll sell both or keep one. I'm not sure yet. I gotta see it painted because right now, I, I don't really have a lot of strong emotions um, for it right now. So um, I'm not going to say that I'm they're going to be keepers. I just don't know. I'm just being very honest. Um, and I know it's a lot of hype surrounding them, but I don't know that, that I feel it when I actually looked at the kit. Um, I think I'm more excited about the belly plate than anything. So, um, but I really, really want to paint the... Uh, the uh what is her the benjamin so i have so many things and i'm definitely going to order more of the abby and the aspens by claire Zella because i want to um i want to paint them in different skin tones so i want to paint her as a um of different skin tones and i want to paint the aspen um i want to actually paint the uh, uh, aspen two more times because I, I don't care. I, I just, it's just something about that kid that I want to see it as a redhead. So I'm definitely going to try for that guys. Wish me luck on that one. Um, I'm also want to paint it as a, um, a, a lighter skin tone as well. Cause I, I was torn in between did I want to go light or dark? And then I went with dark and I'm happy and I love my puka. Um, but I do want to see it as a redhead. <laughs> on this redhead kick thing right now i really want to see a redhead um I, I need a redhead in my edition but i don't i mean in my collection not edition but i just cannot um it just has to be the right one because red hair is like you guys know red hair you have to get the right color red hair like some red hair is like no that's clown hair that's not red hair that's not a true red a carrot top like i so I don't know. Anyway, that's that. Um, and I definitely, you know, I love my lighter babies. I love my, I love all my babies, honestly. So I just, I be wanting to see them in different skin tones. Cause I think they look so different when you change the way they do their hair. Um, you know, it's, it's crazy. So anyway, so that's where I'm at. Also, I am still searching for hair and, uh, that's another thing. Like, I don't know what way I want thin hair to be so that may be you know another struggle uh, when it comes to that but he probably won't get rooted in no time soon so I have so many projects <laughs> I have so many projects oh my gosh I'm so grateful though thank God for you know the love that people have shown me and trusted me with you know um their money <laughs> and their their dolls their kids and you know or just you know, I have a baby that I want to paint that I need, I need to paint, but I also want to paint it because it's just a special baby and I am um, actually going to be expecting another spe special baby from another um, reborn artist that I'm really excited about. She knows who she is. Yes, I'm so excited. Um, but, you know, I, I love... I've really been loving this hobby, but I've definitely had some challenges and I think I've went about a lot of things kind of crazy. I've been a little whiner, but that's because these are growing pains, guys. 
okay okay anyway i gotta go see you later bye we'll talk later maybe i'll do a live stream let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see me live once i get finn shipped out then we can go live let me know